Jim, opening day of Oshkosh 2009, lots of goodies, and let's face it, when it comes to goodies, Garmin's got it. Tell us what's new for 2009. We've got an iPhone application that's becoming available. The price on that's going to be $99.95. That'll be available through the App Store for iPhone starting in September. We've got some updates available for G3X, and that's the avionics suite for uh, light sport and experimental aircraft. We've got the box for PFD capability, air data information. AHARS information and also engine sensing is coming available. That box is going to start shipping here in the next couple of months and customers that have been interested in G3X can get that for their airplanes. I'm actually starting installations in the near term for enhancements. We'll actually be able to do the PFT capability and the MFD capability and the GSU-73 engine monitoring will support external nav interfaces. The engine interfaces will be also supported in the fourth quarter from a software perspective. G3X, a single screen price is going to be $9,995 without XM. I think it's an extra $700 for the uh, the version that's equipped with XM will have the ability to add on a second or third display for the price of an additional GDU, which is going to be somewhere between three and four thousand dollars. We are announcing uh, Synthetic Vision is certified for G600. We're also announcing a new autopilot adapter box for G600 is called the GAD43, also certified. And the nice thing about the GAD43 is if you've got a KI256, for example, this allows you to remove that 256 from your airplane and and basically drive your autopilot from the G600 now. And a uh, real cost savings for existing customers out there that might have that or customers that have been thinking about trying to get rid of their old mechanical-based gyro in their aircraft because you save so much on the maintenance costs. For new packages going out the door, uh, G600 includes synthetic vision and includes this GAD43 at the same great price, $29,995. For Class 1 and Class 2 aircraft under 6,000 pounds, we've introduced a G500. G500 allows you to get this glass solution at a bargain basement price of $15,995. Leverages a lot of the same technology that we've got uh, from G600 and then offers synthetic vision and the GAD43 as options. Synthetic vision as an option on G500 is $49.95. The GAD43 as an option on the G500 is $29.95. Garmin's introducing a GTS series of traffic products and the GTS 800 is a TAS system, a low power TAS system. The GTS 820 is a high power TAS system and then the GTS 850 is a high power TAS system that has the criteria to meet TCAS 1 credentials. Okay. And that's becoming available in the fourth quarter of 2009. Uh, the GTS 800 system is value priced at $9,995. The 820 is 19995 and the 850 is 23495 It's a hybrid product that takes an active traffic solution and this passive data that we're getting from ADSB to, to meld a, a much more accurate picture. Thanks so much, Jim. Appreciate it. Aero TV is brought to you by... Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.